Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overrated players in Madden 20. Now I did ask you guys over on Twitter to give me some help with this as well and let me know your guys most overrated players and I have to say there are some pretty good answers over there but I do want to say shout out to Corbin Hill for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like on the vid make sure you guys are sub the channel with notifications on and comment down below Noti Gang. So when it comes to my criteria for exactly what I mean by overrated players, it can be a mixture of things. One, it can be the overall the player, right? If their overall is high, but they're just not really comparable to even lower overall guys or people with the same. Or two, their price. And it doesn't matter if they're LTD or not. If their price is super high and the card's just not that good, that's why they're going to be on this list. So with that being said, guys, comment down below and let me know your most overrated player. Like I said, there's only a list of 10 players. And I know there's a lot of players in the game that maybe just aren't worth it for their price but with that being said let's get into the list now although it was only about 300k auto Graham, i did a gameplay with him i really do feel like he's overrated now the issue is right he's a 300k card he's a 97 overall like i said he's not that crazy expensive but for a 97 overall he's just not good and you guys can see 84 speed the issue is if you got a skate artist this card would actually be a lot better right if he did get escape arts unfortunately though he does not and in the gameplay he seemed pretty solid he just doesn't have the best throwing stats for you know a strong arm qb for a pocket passing qb as 94 throw batter 90 short 93 medium 96 deep 95 throw under pressure 93 throw on the run and an 82 play action he does have 84 speed with 84 excel but it doesn't really matter if you don't have a skate artist because that only works once you're past the line of scrimmage so it's still really really tough to actually you know get past the line of scrimmage and then take advantage of speed and he's not that fast he does have 77 carrying though this card would be way better if he actually was good like once he took off you can see his truck is an 82 which is really good but it, more so you'd like to spin and juke with a qb you're not going to try and just truck over a safety or a linebacker or whatever he does have a 72 spin with a 77 juke move overall i don't think auto is that bad but for a 97 overall qb there are so many other 97 overall QBs for the same price or cheaper that I would much rather take over Autogram. And I really need to emphasize here, this one is 110% on the price of the player. Lamar Jackson, he's 3.6 million coins. And he's actually selling on my head. His average is 3 million coin, guys. No card ever 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 should sell for three million coins he is 100 overrated i don't even care if he is the best quarterback in madden because I, I do believe that because of his speed that he has uh you can easily give up to 99 speed you know powered up with shaker or with sprinter with john madden whatever you can give up to 99 speed that's awesome and of course he got really good throwing stats 92 throw power 95 short 90 medium 91 deep now of course a little bit overshadowed with patrick mahomes's throwing stats but it doesn't matter it's all about that speed and acceleration it's insane we can actually do he of course does get a skateboard he's got 98 jimu 91 spin that's crazy but for three million coins i don't care how he could literally be okay 99 speed base 99 throw power 99 short 99 medium 99 deep i probably would not pay three million coins for him it's just not worth it no card in this game is worth three million coins if lamar jackson was a million coins he probably wouldn't be on this list but he's three million coins and selling for i don't care how good the card is that's overrated and unfortunately, Panthers fans, Christian McCaffrey is going to be making this list as well. Now, I did do a gameplay with Christian McCaffrey. I thought the card was solid. The card was definitely solid overall. But again, he's going for around 500,000 coins. Now, I know that LTDs, they have a base quick sell to for the case. So they're going to be going for more than that. But he's actually selling for around 500k. So McCaffrey for 500 or you can get Saquon Barkley, who's a lot, lot cheaper. I would definitely go with Saquon. Now, the biggest issue that I had with Christian McCaffrey during the gameplay really was the speed, right? 93 speed. He just was not fast enough to break away from defenders. I thought the card was solid overall. You know, he's got good catching. He's got a looseness, but he just doesn't have the trucking. He doesn't have the speed, and he doesn't have the carrying. You can get with Saquon. You can get with Gale Sayers. Even Bo Jackson, I would have Bo over Christian McCaffrey just because of what the plays that he can make. 
McCaffrey was solid overall, but definitely is overrated for the price. And next up on the list is going to be John Ross. Now, currently he's going for 660K, but I'll let you know, you guys saw I got a gameplay with him. I pulled the card. When he was going for 350K, he still would have made this list because he's just not worth the coins when Tyree Kill is in the game. Straight up, he's just not worth the coins. You can see they're both around the same height, one inch taller, 5'11", 5'10", not a huge difference there at all when it comes to abilities to uh, make plays you can see the speed both 99 speed powered up tyree kill 90 jumping 91 catches the same catch powered up 88 catch traffic he doesn't have a power up either 90 spec catch 91 short 89 medium with a 99 deep route running of course he does have a 95 agility uh he does also have when it comes to like the run blacking a 45 which isn't as good as tyreek you can spend 93 and 99 which is really really good i thought john ross was a solid card but there's no way that if you have tyree kill you should switch to John Ross. It's just, there's just no point in doing it. It's absolutely not worth it to do. John Ross is definitely overrated, especially now that he's over 600,000 coins. Just, just get Tyreek Hill. Now, this one actually surprised me quite a bit. But when I say that I asked over on Twitter, Randy Moss was actually the most commented response. Like, one of the most commented responses was Randy Moss. And I'm going to give you guys kind of the reasoning behind why I'm putting Moss to this one. I kind of, after looking over it, I think I kind of have to agree with it as well. Randy Moss, some people noted, after that NFL 100 Moss stability is over with, he's just an average receiver. And I think I kind of have to agree with that. If you take a look at him compared to Calvin Johnson, right? Who are you getting? Are you getting Calvin or are you getting Randy Moss? You can have plus one everything on Randy Moss if you want. They'd have, you know, Randy or Calvin would still have plus one speed over him. He'd have plus two jumping. He'd have plus one height. We're also have one more catching. Catching traffic though, plus four to Calvin Johnson. Spec catch is the same. Short route running goes to Calvin. Medium route running goes to Calvin. Uh, Randy Moss would have a little bit more deep route running. And then of course, we take a look at after the catch or even the run block. You know, Calvin has 20 better run block. After the catch, you're looking at 80 spin, 85 juke compared to 87 spin with 88 stiff arm period 69 and an 82 juke with an 85 juke. I think I'd much rather have Calvin Johnson. Yes, he's currently 220K. So are you spending 220K on him? Or are you going up quite a bit to Calvin Johnson, who's about 315K? Worth the extra 100K? 100%. Now, unfortunately, this one really is not on Nick Bosa himself. I think that he just kind of just doesn't get really good cards in Madden, but this card is selling for an average of 600K, and I, I really don't see the point. Like, I would not buy this card for more than, like, 200K, honestly. As a 96 overall Nick Bosa, this card is just not that great. His block shed, not that great. Only 90 block shed. He has 94 finesse move, which is solid, but... When you have someone like Aaron Donald, who has a 98 power move and then a 95 finesse move powered up, it's a big, big difference there. Speed-wise, acceleration, yes, he's very good there. Strength, not that high, only an 87 strength. There's just a lot better right ends that you can go out and get, including Aaron Donald. I mean, like I said, Nick Bosa is literally selling for 600,000 coins. And if we take a look here at Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald currently is selling for 300K. It's not even close. And another right end that I have to throw on this list is going to be Yannick Ngakwe. Now, pretty similar to Nick Bosa. Now, the one big difference here is Yannick Ngakwe has got a 98 finesse move, right? So that's really, really good. But again, he's the same price as Aaron Donald. And you look at these stats and tell me, so please tell me that you are going to take Yannick Ngakwe over Aaron Donald here. I don't think you are. Speed-wise, right, if you powered up Yannick, you'd have one more speed. Same acceleration, strength can be way less, tackling be one more, player can be one less as well. But the big difference is the block shit. The block shit of a 71. That's just bad, bad, bad. I, I can't get a card like this, especially with how Madden is ran to where people will nonstop run, run, run. I mean, literally, people run the ball in this game. They will run the ball in this game 90% of the plays. There's no point in having a defensive end who's only good at pass rushing when you can get someone like Donald, who's also good at pass rushing, 98 power move and 95 finesse move over having just 87 power move and 98 finesse move with very similar speed as well as Yannick, which kind of like his big thing is he's a fast pass rusher. Well, Don is the same, but he actually could stop the run and one of the best run stoppers in the game compared to 71 block shed. I don't think you're getting Yannick here. And EA's favorite 300-pound defensive lineman this year, for some reason, is Vita Bay. Now, you guys can see he's currently going for about 330K, right? But if we take a look here, Warren Sapp is 380K. I have Warren Sapp on my team, and it's not even close as to who you should go with. Speed-wise, 
10 more speed acceleration 11 more acceleration strength yeah 99 cool 92 tackling 90 player 94 block shit so even if you powered up vita Vea, which you can still one less block shit which is like his big thing power move not even close to warren sap and finesse move not even close to warren sap why would you ever think about getting vita Vea when you can basically get warren sap for the exact same price by the way this video i'm recording this video on a tuesday right so Wait until Saturday. You could probably get Warren Sapp for the same price as Vita Vea or even cheap. Like, it's not even close as to which defense tag you should get. I'm not sure why they even made this Vita Vea card, like, not even juiced at all. Like, if you're going to make Vita Vea, give him, like, 98 block shit or something to make the power move a little bit more. Maybe give him a little bit more speed, but 300k? No. Now, going for 400,000 coins is going to be Derek Brooks. Now, I kind of understand why he's more expensive because he obviously is, you know, a master card. So, not going to be super cheap. However, there is an issue with the card. So you can see he's got 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 94 tackling with a 94 player rank, 81 block shed. And you take a look here, he's got an 86 agility, 73 catching, jumping is a 78. And if we take a look at his zone coverage, he's got a really good zone of a 90, right? So you can't take away the zone. The zone is really good with that 87 hit power. However, the issue that I have with this card is there's another right outside linebacker for around the same price usually according to my head they're like exactly the same price or very very similar is fred warner now currently like i said this is tuesday it's like noon time fred warner's 450k right now but you can see he's got 89 speed with 94 acceleration so one more speed five more excel 81 block shed compared to 88 block shed big difference there take a look at the jumping as well you get 96 jumping on fred warner compared to Derek brooks only has a 78 jumping and then if we take a look at the zone coverage that's going to be on fred warner as well fred warner has got a zone coverage of an 86 which if you power him up put lockdown on him maybe you have john men as well you can get that to over 90 zone coverage so to me fred warner is miles ahead of Derek brooks because he's a better run a uh, better run stuffer he's a faster got more acceleration way better of a user card with that jumping as well just way more athletic overall fred warner is way better than brooks and they're about the same price now, if you guys know me you know my favorite player literally my favorite player that is not on the cowboys is tyron matthew i absolutely love the honey badger but for 400k i had to put him on this list with someone like troy plumalu in the game who has been probably the best safety i've ever used in an ultimate team fun fact though uh, very very close to Troy P in terms of dominance for me is actually much superlative Tyron Matthew if you guys remember that card I don't remember what I think it was Madden 15 I want to say Madden 15 or what maybe it was Madden 16 one of the Madden 15 Madden 16 don't remember exactly which one but much superlative Tyron Matthew card was insane pretty sure 16 actually think about it now that card was just absolutely insane and I hope they make a better Tyron Matthew card but for someone that's going for this much Troy P it's it's just another level man he absolutely blows him out of the water but with that being said guys that is my list of the top 10 most overrated players in madden 20 comment down below and let me know another overrated player you think should have been on this list of course that was only 10 players and i know there's a lot of guys also someone that was mentioned a ton on twitter was actually eric dickerson i can't put dickerson on this list. i feel like the card's still pretty good he's not crazy expensive he's one of the best running backs in the game but I guess just because Saquon Barkley is out, people wanted me to put him on this list. So, honorable mention, I guess, Dickerson, if you want to put him on there. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. See you guys next time.